Hi, this is Carl with a Relax, Focus, Succeed video, and I got a, a bit of a black eye, to say the least. And it inspired me to talk about something that some people think of as a, I don't know, a negative approach to the world, but I don't think it's negative at all. My topic is, how much do you control? And the truth is, you control almost nothing in your world. And you know what? That's okay. Here's what I mean. Many people go through life thinking, oh, I'm horrible because I can't do this and I can't do that. Or I reacted wrong or I didn't know this was coming or I didn't know that person was going to do this or that or whatever. You don't know most things, you can't foresee most things, and you can't affect most things. You know, if you think about the big picture, what do you actually control? You don't control the economy. You don't control the elections. You don't control the news. You don't control the pandemic, certainly. You don't control most of what goes on. You don't control inflation. You don't control who moves in next door to you. So you have to take into account the fact that most things in your life are actually outside of your control and that's okay. That's the important message I want you to get. It's okay that most things are outside of your control. Most things are outside of most people's control. So unless you happen to be on the Federal Reserve Board, you have very little influence on interest rates. Now, how do you make something good out of that realization? Well, the truth is, this is something that everybody who meditates eventually learns. You know, I meditate, I like to meditate in the hot tub while the sun comes up. And I do mindfulness meditation, and there are many kinds of mindfulness meditation. But the main thing that I do is I literally observe my world and I just label things. Oh, I heard a car. I heard an airplane. I saw a bird fly by. There's some rustling going on. I'm looking at the bushes. I'm looking at the sky. And this mindfulness allows you to be completely aware of the moment, the exact moment that you are in. And the only I would say the primary value of that, being in the moment, is realizing where you are and where the boundaries of your life are. And eventually what happens is you begin to develop a sense that you can look down upon yourself, almost like a third party observer, and say, oh, there is Carl walking through the house. There is Carl driving his car. There is Carl feeling frustrated because somebody cut him off. And that sort of awareness, day to day, minute by minute, actually allows you to come to grips with the fact that some people drive too fast and some people are arrogant and some people are kind and some people will give you gifts for no reason. And you just sort of have this sense that all of this is a world that you get to participate in and where you can do good, you should do good, you should try to improve things, but don't worry that you can't solve homelessness, you can't stop the opioid crisis, you can't stop the frustrations going on between the superpowers or all of the issues that you hear on the six o'clock news. Most of the world is outside your control, so don't feel pressure about it. Don't feel anxious about it. You know, you are going to have a certain experience next week, whether you worry about it or not. There's a saying I love called borrowing worry. And I don't know why I didn't hear this when I was a kid, but, but I've heard it a few times as an adult, and it really strikes home for me. There are people who worry about every single thing. Oh, what happens if this and what happens if that? What happens if that? And they go through their day freaked out about all of the things that could go wrong in the future. 
And the reality is things are going to be what they're going to be. And unless it's something you control, like how you spend and what you choose to buy and where you choose to live, if things are outside of your control, you should be okay watching the world from afar and knowing that you can't do anything about it. So you shouldn't worry about it. I hope that gives you a little perspective about being at one and being joyful with the fact that most of the world is not inside your control. And so worrying about it isn't going to do any good at all. Agree with me, disagree with me, whatever, put it in the comments down below. And I hope that you have a spectacular end of year and a great new year. For Relax, Focus, Succeed, this is Carl Palachuk wishing you the best of luck in everything you do.